Now, whatever God doth, no man can do it for him. An infinite agent cannot work by a deputy, and among all his works none require more of God, of the artifice of grace, and mercy, wisdom, deepness of love, than to wash a polluted conscience. There was more of God required to mend and solder the jewel than to make and preserve it. The blood of bulls and goats cannot be spoken of here. Now to make conscience against again fundamentally good, there was need that the most curious art of free grace should be set on work to act a greater miracle on this choicest piece than ever was before or after, to make the conscience good. An act of atonement and expiation to satisfy infinite justice must pass, and by shedding of and sprinkling on the conscience the blood of God, the conscience only, and no other way known to man or angels, could be restored. Use we profess that the moral washing of the outside of the cup hath nothing in it of a good conscience. Moral honesty alone can no more inherit the kingdom of heaven than flesh and blood. Number two, a good conscience from justification hath peace and joy. Proverbs 15, verse 5, a good conscience. Or Hebrew, he that is good in heart is in a continual feast. It is an allusion to the showbread that was set before God always, or as Exodus 25, verse 30, bread of faces. That was to be before the Lord continually, called by them, Lechem Chatmid, perpetual bread. This hath no fountain cause, but sense of reconciliation with God. Number three, a good conscience is a complete entire thing, or as our text saith, both toward God and man. It is not to be a moral man in the duties of the second table, but a skeptic in the duties of the first table, not in some few fundamentals as patrons for liberty or of conscience do, do plead, but in the whole revealed will of God, and therefore the good conscience consisteth in an indivisible point, as they say. The number of four doth, if you add one or take one from it, you vary the essence and make it three or five, not four. So Paul taketh in completeness in it. I have all good conscience, either all or none, and a good conscience toward God and man, not a conscience for the streets and the church, and not for the house, and not for the days, Hosanna, and not for eternity. Therefore they require an habit to a good conscience. Hepolid eumai. I have exercised myself to be always a good con to have always a good conscience, excuse me. There is a difference between one song and the habit of music and a step and a way, Psalm 119, verse 133. Order, not my one single step, but my steps, fe ami, in the plural number, to fall on a good word by hazard and to salute Christ in the by, doth not quit from having an evil conscience. As one wrong step or extemporary slip doth not render a believer a man of an ill conscience, the wicked world the wicked world quarrel with the saints before men because they cannot live as angels, but the true and latent cause is because they will not live as devils and go with them to the same excess of riot. Number four, the form the formless ratio of all good conscience is conscience. Conscience acteth not on by respects, but for conscience. Romans 13, verse 5. Wherefore you must be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. Conscience then doth all by rule, and saileth by compass, and considereth the motion, not of the clouds, but of the stars which move regularly. Whereas the evil conscience, Leviticus 26, verse 15, is said to play the reprobate in God's testimonies, ma'am, to cast away, to loathe, it is called. Jeremiah 6, verse 30, Reprobate metal, by which no man would choose. There is conscience that walketh contrary to God. Leviticus 26, verse 21. Kari, in Akursu. There is a defect in the letter Kaf. It's from a root that signifieth to meet in the way, or to rafter, or plank and house, where board is joined with board. Some will join issue with God as if they had hardened their heart against him, and were nothing afraid to meet him and join battle with him. 
as if it were good enough and strong enough for God, as one rafter in a house is apt to join with another, there be some froward ones who wrestle with God. Psalm 18, verse 27, With the froward, with the wrestler who boweth his body, thou wilt wrestle. But a good conscience knoweth God better than so, and as a mass of heavenly light, and therefore joined with faith unfeigned. 1 Timothy 1, verse 5, as well as 1 Timothy 1, verse 19. Timothy is exhorted to hold faith and a good conscience, as if they sailed both in one vessel. If fate sink, if faith sink, excuse me, a good conscience cannot swim. Much more might be added of a good conscience. But our care would be to keep conscience, as we would do a jewel of great price. And as we do a watch of gold, a moat or straw will interrupt the motion of a watch. It cannot be violently moved. When grace and the blood of atonement oileth the wheels of conscience, they move sweetly and equally. Sometimes it is secure or dead, or, which is the extremity of sleep, as death is superlative and deepest sleep, seared or burnt with a hot iron. When the man hath sinned God out of the world, first as fools do, Psalm 14, verse 1, and next out of his own conscience, and such a conscience in Pharaoh may awake per intervalla and go to bed again and be buried at other times. It can discourse and argue away heretically the ill day and judgment. At other times it will crow furiously and as unseasonably as the cock, which, they say, hath much in it of the planet of the sun, and therefore beginneth to sing when the sun hath passed its decl declination and beginneth to ascend when men are in deepest sleep.